Hey everybody, how's it going? Daryl here. So a question I've been getting asked a lot is what is a good lighting rig for a beginner, just someone who's starting out? Something that is affordable but will be very professional. And so I thought about it and I thought about the Chauvet Wash FX Hex. I can't think of a better light that fits that description. And not only is it a light that's perfect for beginners, but it's also really good for experienced pros who want like a really nice wash effect that they can just use by itself for a very minimalist rig or as part of a bigger installation. So this is like a light that you can start out with and you can continue to use it as you grow. And trust me, once you start buying lighting, it's like a drug, you're not gonna stop. So you can pick this up at Guitar Center for 280 bucks and I have a link in the description below and clicking on that link helps support this channel. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this thing. So when you buy a set of two of these, you get this nice outer box and two wash effects inside. All right, and so this is the retail box. And inside you get a manual, as well as some stickers in there. That's something Chauvet always does, that's kind of nice. You have your light nicely packaged in there. You get the power cable, also called an IEC cable. And you have your wash effects hex and you don't have to install the handle. It comes with the handle pre-installed. So the wash effects hex, this is a really robust light. It's really simple conceptually, but extremely effective. And this is like the third edition of the wash effects line. We had the wash effects one, the wash effects two, and now we have the wash effects hex. So what's really unique about this light is that it has six of these zones right here. And each of them can be controlled individually through DMX or you can have some sound active or auto chases just so it provides some nice eye candy. And previously stated, these can also make effective washes as well as blinders. This light feels really nice. It's made of a lightweight metal. It weighs seven pounds in total. It's got kind of a unique shape. It's not just like a square, but it's 12 inches by 13 inches by 11 inches. And it features 18 8 watt LEDs. And each of these LED diodes can do red, green, blue, white, amber, and UV. So you can do so many different color combinations. And these LEDs look excellent. The beam angle of this is 41 degrees with a field angle of 68 degrees. So that is an extremely wide coverage. You can fill a really large room with just a couple of these. What's really unique about this light is it has this angle right here. This angle is really where the magic sauce happens. Happens, it's able to spread a lot of light all over the place. A lot of people have mentioned that this is extremely bright, so pointing up more towards the ceiling helps. And so the bracket hangs just under seven inches from the actual unit. This bracket comes with a couple of knobs so that you can adjust the angle. It features a couple of fans to help control the heat. It has some nice branding on the top, wash effects hex, but it's out of sight from the clients. And then on the back here, you have the power inputs. You can also daisy chain these up to three additional ones. This is where you can plug in your DMX controls. So this is where the DMX input goes. And if you wanna do master slave mode, which I will show you in just a moment, this is where you would output it. If you have a safety loop, this is where it hooks in so that if your mounting hardware ever fails you, it will not completely fall and hit someone in the head. So that's a really nice safety feature to have. It looks like it has an IR remote sensor on the back as well as the front. Chauvet has this really nice IR remote that works with like all of their fixtures that is sold separately. We have a microphone for sound active mode and we have a very familiar four button LCD panel so that we can control this thing, which we'll go over in just a moment. So Chauvet has like an official bag for these, but I'm using this Rockville one that's the exact same dimensions. With each one weighing about seven pounds, this is not too heavy. This is really lightweight. And it has like a zippered pouch so that you can put like all of your accessories in there, like your power cables, your mounting hardware. All right, so to turn this on, you simply plug it in, no on and off switch. And as soon as you plug it in, you can hear the fan, but the fan is relatively quiet. And the first menu item you see is the DMX. So I last had this on DMX mode, and this is the DMX address I had it set to. So right now I can't change the DMX address. I must first cycle through the menu, clicking the menu button. You don't use the up and down. So you click menu, 
You can change like the mode of DMX because there's various modes. There's three channel, six, 11, and 40 channel mode. To change it, you simply click enter and then you can change the address. I'm gonna keep it at 153. And so this next mode is C. This is color mode. So they have a bunch of preset colors, 63 of them to be exact, but you can just cycle through them and see all the colors that they have. They have like your base colors, of course, but then they have a mixture of them. And I've got to say that the color mixing is really fantastic with this light. As you can see the wall behind me, it looks really good. And so P is for auto programs. So if you want to enter this menu, click enter and then you can choose between one and 25 auto programs. And so you can kind of see what it's doing like against this back wall, but let me just show you. Like I mentioned, it does some chases. So this is like what a chase looks like. And I'll show you more during the demo, so don't you worry. And then they have speed, so you can choose like the speed of these chases. By default, it's set at 85, so you can increase that or decrease it. So see what 100 looks like. versus one. So you can control the dimmer, which is nice because if you are just gonna be using this on some sort of like auto mode, you might not want these on full brightness and you can control that right here from the panel. So it's the value between one and 25. So even if you have these on sound active mode, this is like really cool. My camera will be happy if I keep that probably like right there. <laughs> Then there's sound active mode and there's nine different sound active modes and they all do different things. And you can control the sensitivity of sound active mode. You can put these on master slave mode, which I'll show you in a moment. And that is something I highly recommend you do if you have two of these, which I'm highly recommending you do. There's two different modes of master slave mode. So there's one where the slave does exactly the same thing and then there's one that mirrors it. So you have like two different chases and you can have them mirror each other, which is a really nice and professional looking effect. And it's really cool you can do that without much effort. You can do color, custom color mixing. So you can choose like the amount of like red, green, blue, white, amber, UV you want. And that is really useful if you're just gonna like set this and forget this for like a corporate event or if you need to like wash a certain area or a stage. So you can also turn on and off the IR remotes. All right, so that's basically all of the operation. And I'm gonna do a demo in sound active mode. So I'm just gonna show you a couple of ways I like to mount the lights. And these are pretty applicable to lots of different lighting stands, not just the really expensive gravity stands. So I'm sure this will be useful to a lot of you. So a way that is maybe unique to gravity stands is at the top of a gravity stand, it has this M10 threaded slot. So that means you can use like an M10 screw to mount your light on top, just like it's a cap. And Gravity Stands also makes a cap that you could just slip on top of any speaker stand. And that is really affordable. I'll have a link in the description below. But it basically goes like this. You put your screw through the hole on the mounting bracket. And voila, there you have it. You have it attached to the, the, on top. It's got a very sturdy base and you can just adjust these knobs to tilt it any way you want. More towards the ceiling, more towards the dance floor. And this can get up to eight feet high. So this won't be blinding people as much. Man, that looks so clean. I wish this was battery powered. So this next way I'm gonna do is with a clamp. I feature these in many of my videos. So I won't go too much into it. I have another video going more in detail with them. Something really nice about having this tall, like seven inch bracket is that you're able to attach this pretty easily. And there you go. That is what that looks like. This may seem obvious, but another way that you can display these is like on top of a totem. It just can sit on top of the totem just like that. So with like a wing nut and a screw, you could also just have this like sitting over a totem as well, then you can like adjust the angle. All right, before I do my demo, let me just explain it real quick. I have two of these on top of my gravity stands. I don't have my cable super tidied. This is not a gig, so please forgive me. Um, I have them on master slave mode. So the one I want to be like the leader, the master, I have like a, 
XLR cable and the DMX out leading to like the DMX in of the slave unit. Apologize it's upside down, but I can flip it in editing. It is yellow right here. And so I have it on slave two so that it will mirror each other. That's really nice. It has these indicators so you can just quickly and visually see like which mode it is in. I also have the intensity about 40% power. I have it dimmed a lot and I only had to dim it on the master. And I'm just doing that for my demo just so you can see it instead of it just being this big bright halo on my camera, so. And really they get the best results with any lighting fixture to have it really tailored to your liking. The only way you're going to be able to do that is through DMX control. And so I like to use sound switch and here's a demo of some of my auto loops that I created. And I'm using 40 channel mode and I'm leveraging some of the built-in presets from the WashFX Hex, including some of my own custom pixel mappings and some of my own design. And so I have this project for sale on my website and I'll have a link in the description below so that you can find out more. And so maybe I was just doing something wrong or not being patient enough, but it seemed that each sound active mode and each auto mode would only do a single chase. I was kind of expecting like there would be at least one mode that would loop through all of the chases and just kind of like cycle through all of them but that didn't seem to be the case so i feel like variety just makes eye candy more interesting and not ever grow stale all right so what do i think about this wash effects hex because it certainly isn't like the cheapest light on the market i think that this is a very robust and unique design of a light and I think it's a very nice multi-purpose one. It's, it makes a perfect wash, a blinder, and it can even do eye candy. So I think that this light is really versatile. And what's crazy is that it's really affordable as well. Because while not the cheapest light on the market, for 280 that provides extremely great value. As far as like modern lighting goes, I think that now with Chauvet's new ILS system and their new RF remotes, I expect to see probably another wash effects sometime in the future that has those features. Um, those aren't really a big deal for me as somebody that like just exclusively uses DMX to control my lights. But something I think will be really important for modern lighting fixtures in the future is the ability to have built-in wireless DMX. I know the show of it, it's probably gonna be DeFi, that's okay. And a built-in battery. So this thing is extremely bright compared to a lot of the PARs. So I'm not sure if they can put a battery in this and still have it have its nice unique features, but they now have a battery powered mover. So who knows anything is possible, right? But yeah, this light is perfect for beginners and pros alike. You can use this as a standalone rig, just a couple of these, or you can have them as part of like a bigger rig. I think the built-in macros are okay. I think they're pretty good. There's only six cells. There's only so much variety you can do with six. So let me know what you think about the wash effects hacks. Do you have any? Have you liked them? Is there another light that you like even better? Let me know what you think down below and please smash like and subscribe. Your viewership and subscription helps this channel grow so much and I really appreciate it. So I'll see you in the next video.